Hello guys, today I wanted to show you how to do the airship quests uh, because they're pretty important to do. They give a uh, really good currency that you can buy uh, quite efficient items. Um, I'll go into it uh, a bit uh, later after we get the quests. So first off, there are two types of uh, airship quests. Uh, there's a level 45 one, 46 one in the first uh, main city and there's another one. Um, uh, they all have this uh, capture ship uh, thing, so the level 42 one in the second uh, city is actually a lot harder um, and second of all you can't really get all the quests unless you are uh, level 47 but for today's video I wanted to show you how to do the first city with uh, not so geared characters so that's why I'm uh, again on my alt uh, with the artificial gear score of uh, 370 now but, uh, you know, it's not that geared, judging from the amount of HP. Uh, so let's see where we get the quests. Um, it's uh, right here uh, near this elevator. And uh, you can actually, three of them you can do solo, without a group. Uh, these two require you to kill some mobs in the air uh, with a ship. And uh, basically I want to show you how to do this. And this one, uh, it involves clearing uh, 20... Killing 20 mobs on the pirate ship, uh, so I'll show you that uh, as well near the end of the video. So while we wait for the elevator, uh, I'm gonna go through the currency. Um, basically, the pioneering seals uh, that you get from these quests uh, can help you get really important items such as uh, legendary reset scrolls, um, some material that will help you upgrade to a tier 3 uh, in in enhancement runestone. Um, some sort of uh, XP recovery scrolls uh, that you know when you die to mobs in the open world you lose 5% of XP but you can use this scroll to recover it. Uh, the anti-fail save tool. Oh look, the elevator is here. Uh, so the anti-fail save tool that will help uh, protect the downgrade in case of a failure. Um, some uh, sort of currency that uh, can help you acquire items to facilitate the upgrade from the uh, plus 10 uh, purple item to a legendary one. Legendary being the best gear in the game. Uh, a box with a selectable enchantment stone, either weapon or uh, armor. And a few other things um, uh, that can give you a sort of a skin sort of a nice looking uh, skin, selectable skin, uh, some sort of ally resurrection device and um, a personal resurrection spot that you can place for 30 minutes in a, in a way um, and in case you die you can resurrect there not to not to walk through, throughout the map. Um, honestly the the best ones you you should uh, you should be buying are the legendary reset scrolls uh, this currency you could also buy, but not necessarily 10 out of 10. Uh, this is uh, also quite good uh, if you have something to gamble and see if you can enchant uh, to a higher grade, if you're feeling lucky. Uh, of course, the enchantment stones, uh, if you find yourself not having enough of them. And uh, the anti fail tools. Um, the rest of the items are quite convenient. Uh, basically the XP recovery scrolls you get this uh, quite a lot of them while leveling so you don't really need to spend your pioneer sing pioneering seals uh, on these but if you feel like it uh, and you miss some of them and you don't want to lose that 5% of hard earned XP uh, you should definitely uh, get one or if you're really close to leveling like in my case like 83% uh, if I would die now to while doing these quests uh, I would get to 78 and I would definitely just use a scroll to get that back. Alright, so uh, we need to interact with this uh, device that will help us summon our, uh, our ship. But it says that we lack something, that we need some kind of uh, material. Uh, the material in question is actually the ticket that you can buy from this NPC. And now if you interact with it, um, it will give you a small cutscene and uh, an airship will spawn.
So we're just gonna be brought into the um, uh, airship command now and we can just uh, basically pilot it. We are the captain now, if you know that meme. Um, so these are uh, some of the mobs that we should be killing. As you can see all these blue spots uh, qualify for our quests. So the way we do this, we need to target them uh, to face one of these uh, uh, on the side cannons uh, towards them. You see it has two cannons, two firing cannons. And uh, this is actually the back of the ship, right? So this is the back of the ship. And the front is, uh, well, it's here. It's a bit, uh, a bit weirdly, weirdly designed. You'll have to get used to it, unfortunately. So I'm gonna get back to the to the command of the ship, and uh, we need to aim at one of these um, uh, one of these flying gargoyles. We need to aim towards them, get a bit closer to them because they're elites and they're bigger and harder to target. And once the um, um, the gargoyle animation is uh, is lightening up a bit, the model, you will be able to shoot at it. They're quite hard to target, as you can see. Quite difficult to... To get in the... Alright, so now we see he got red. And we can actually shoot by left-clicking. And grab him inside the, uh, inside the ship. Uh, now he's, um, he's able to attack us, and we can also attack him. Uh, if you don't pull it in, inside the ship, uh, you will not be able to hit him. You'll have some kind of 100% uh, evasion bug, uh, evasion buff, and uh, basically he'll be shooting at you, but uh, you're not gonna be able to target him, and he might actually kill you. All right. Um, they also sometimes drop pioneering seals themselves, so it's pretty useful. Um, but I don't recommend you farming them because uh, they're very hard to target and uh, quite difficult to kill as well. Uh, you'll see that the smaller ones, th those from there, uh, you can just target way easier. Uh, this is needed for the second quest. You just need to kill 5 of these and 5 of the elites. These go a lot faster but they don't drop uh, anything important, no pioneering seals. We're gonna target this one as well because he's in the crosshairs and why not. You'll see that these quests don't actually take that much time. Uh, the other three will require you to be in a party, uh, to go on some islands and interact with some stuff, with uh, planting some flags or killing some mobs and looting them and stuff like that. Uh, those will definitely be able to do in a party, uh, because I'm guessing most of everybody will be grouped and uh, do this together on launch. But uh, on the Korean server, as you can see, it's pretty much a single player fest. But they're pretty important to do, and you can, you could, if you could do them on uh, three characters per day, you would roughly get about uh, 500 uh, pioneering seals per day, which is quite a lot, and you could uh, easily buy everything that you need. Uh, the store items are on a weekly reset base. So um, if you get like 500 per day, 7 days a week, uh, you easily get over 3000 and you could buy uh, most of the items that you would need. Alright, so let's see, we got the second elite down, let's get this third one. Alright, so this one came pretty close to the control of the ship. Maybe he wants to be the captain. So as you can see, they're not that uh, hard to kill, but um, the recommended level, I would say, you should uh, at least have uh, about level 40 before attempting them. And let's say about 300-350 with a good optimized kind of gear, like uh, some set bonuses and uh, plus six uh, blue gear. 
assuming you haven't yet got to got a good piece that you could uh, upgrade to purple. All right, so this is the fourth elite. We're almost done with the elites, and this was basically the hardest part. For reference, I'll show the uh, map again. Uh, so we're basically just hovering around the airship dock from where we boarded the, on the ship. Uh, and this is the pirate ship. This is where we would have to go uh, to actually complete the all, the all three of these quests. Alright, this one got in the crosshair as well. That's nice. So this is the last elite one. The elite quest will give you 70 pioneering seals uh, and a box that would give you 10,000 gold as well. You should also note that the uh, mobs themselves, the elite ones, are dropping some kind of collectible material uh, that could deliver slow, that could slowly deliver and build it up. Uh, and uh, when you have, I think, 40 of them, um, you would be able to get 40,000 gold. I'll uh, show it right now. Uh, so it's here, it's uh, this type of material. And we have, uh, well, only one of them. It doesn't drop that uh, that often. And if you get like 50 of them, it will give you 50,000 gold. I don't know why I remember 40. I think it used to be 40 a few weeks ago. Uh, this uh, type of material you get from the level 42 ones. So the second airship quests. The second area around here uh, but those are a lot harder to kill like way way harder you should at, at least be level 45 to attempt those otherwise they uh, because those have about three times the amount of HP and um, hit a lot harder uh, they petrify you they do some skills that disable you for uh, quite a long period of time I think five or seven seconds and if you can't survive that uh, damage uh, while you're incapacitated, you will most likely die and lose experience. Alright, so let's see if we can target some smaller ones. The controls of the ship are a bit clunky. Uh, you also have this big balloon out uh, that is blocking your view properly. So you might have a lot of trouble. <laughs> piloting this correctly, I know I have when I first boarded it. Um, so let's see, we have uh, one of the smaller gargoyles here. We're gonna get him anytime now, alright. There he is, almost done with this also. This is the fourth one and we have the fifth one on the left. Basically when you're in a party, someone can uh, always be piloting the ship and targeting the, the gargoyles while uh, the rest of the group uh, are just DPSing them down, waiting for them to appear and uh, and uh, when they're on board, they can just kill them. Alright, and that's about it. So this quest gives only 45 pioneering seals, but that's great because we already have like 100 done, right? We already done like 100 of them. And now we're just gonna go towards the pirate ship. Uh, where we can get another uh, 70 uh, of these uh, pioneering seals from the main uh, quest. I mean from the from the quest that uh, require you to kill stuff on the pirate ship. As well as uh, some pirate key drops uh, that will unlock the ship, uh, ship's captain cabin. And um, the captain is some sort of a mob that is a bit higher level and elite as well. Uh, that when killed it's gonna give you 40-50 pioneering seals and it's on a 35 minute cooldown so if you find another key in that uh, time frame and you will most certainly will because they drop quite a lot uh, I don't have one in the inventory but if we're lucky and get one while uh, farming the 20 mobs uh, I'll show you how to open that to captain's cabin Uh, so this is the box that uh, dropped from the that uh, we received from the elite killing quest. As you can see, it can give some random components which are very good, including that 10,000 gold. 
and the enchantment stones, uh, uh, blue breakthrough gear, I think. Not sure if you can give a, a purple hero, uh, purple gear, but uh, I'll, uh, I'll have to recheck. Alright, so now we need to park the ship, so <laughs> this will be a bit fun. Uh, basically, you should always park it uh, somewhere on the same level so that you can uh, get on board of it uh, and uh, continue doing some other kind of quests or gathering activities. You can also gather some uh, sky crystals from the islands. And uh, as you can see, we have like 19 minutes left um, of the ship. When these 19 minutes uh, expire, the ship will just be destroyed. But honestly, it's not so important uh, right now because you can just buy another ticket. You can buy like three tickets per day and summon another ship and go and gather your, uh, uh, do your other activities like gathering some sky crystals, blue or purple sky crystals. All right, so uh, we're gonna need to uh, dismount from the from the command. So dismounting is the same key uh, that you use uh, for dismounting on any kind of mounts. Uh, depends on what you bounded it for. I think the default was the B key. Alright. So now we just jump uh, on this ship. Uh, so these mobs uh, we need to kill. And this is uh, the captain's room. Uh, if you try to... Oh, so it's on a 19 minute cooldown. So it seems that someone uh, already did it. Um, but there are two channels, so we can just check on the second channel and see if that's available. And it's not. Uh, so anyway, I'll um, do the mobs now uh, and probably just uh, uh, cut the video here, not to wait 19 minutes. And uh, be back when, uh, when and if we have a key. Uh, let me show you how fast uh, uh, these mobs can be uh, dealt with. Uh, so yeah, so that's a ranged one. So this is some kind of a gunner mob uh, that will be shooting at you And if you can, don't kill him in time, he will also enrage. The, these mobs uh, do enrage And it's gonna be quite difficult to control him So if you engage this one, you should definitely try and kill it as fast as possible And uh, you can see that he's kind of running away. Uh, I just got stunned So yeah, if this one was to enrage right now, I would definitely be kind of dead. Uh, the cooldown at which uh, these guys are respawning is pretty, pretty low, so they're gonna be respawning quite a lot. And if you can't kill them fast enough, uh, uh, you're gonna happen. It's gonna happen that you have uh, mobs on you all of a sudden, popping on you. We're just gonna go here and do this, and uh, at that time we're done. Probably the left ones are respawned. All right, these guys are back. So we're just gonna do this and not gonna uh, engage the range mob anymore. Let's see if we find any key. Um, unfortunately, we didn't. Gonna open the box from the elite quest, and we got an enchantment stone. That's pretty nice. Uh, let's finish the 20 kill quests, and I'll uh, pause the video here for a bit. See if I can get a key, and uh, wait for the timer to uh, to reset, and uh, be able to do the. To show off the captain uh, cabin.
All right, so we are back. Uh, we managed to find actually two keys for the captain's cabin. Uh, so the cooldown is uh, almost done. We're gonna interact with it uh, in a few seconds when it's ready. Uh, we kind of lost the ship earlier, so I couldn't do much of any other activities actually. Alright, so now we can just open the door and here comes the captain guy, uh, just a sort of elite mob that is pretty easy to kill. Does a few slayer type of attacks I think. And this guy will be dropping about 40 or 50 pioneering seals. So it's definitely uh, good to it if you find the key and uh, it's not on cooldown. Uh, and since we have two keys, I'll uh, go ahead and switch the channel again and see if we can. Uh... Okay, so he enraged actually. And now he's a lot difficult. But we almost killed him, so. Oh, so no. <laughs> He almost died there since that he had some kind of a slayer lifesteal ability yeah so uh, as you can see uh, another 50 pioneering seals now we have almost 600 of them that's pretty good uh, so yeah it seems that this guy is a lot difficult than I thought uh, to do on this uh, alternate car of mine uh, just gonna wait to heal ourselves up uh, maybe tweak some of the Removing some of the penalties in uh, damage taken and readjust the uh, building damage reduction because I had that from the boss monster. Alright, so this is also available, but uh, let's wait just a few more seconds to heal ourselves. Let me just pop a potion. Uh, casting any type of skill uh, will allow us to heal ourselves because uh, of this green skill. When using any kind of heal, uh, any kind of skill, we get uh, 20 power healing. Uh, so yeah, so we're done now. Uh, let's summon him and try to actually kill him faster this time. So I think it's going better this time. Um, any mob usually enrages I think in one minute or so, but I don't know, these guys seem to have enraged faster. Uh, when they enrage, you, you actually can't really crowd control them anymore. Okay, so he enraged again. But almost dead. So that's good. Well, 66 pioneering seals. Very nice. Yeah, so that's about uh, everything for the um, uh, airship quests. Uh, the delivery of one of those quests, uh, it's at the beginning where we boarded our ship. So you'll have to go back in the main town and uh, deliver that. A cool trick to do that uh, easier and without a fee would be to go to your housing and then back to the main city and then just take the elevator again so hope you guys you enjoyed this video if you find it helpful please drop a like and be sure to tune in on my twitch where i'll be streaming almost daily and show you more tips and tricks bye bye for now